Tomorrow, the eyes of the political world will be on presidential electors who will be meeting in state capitals across the country to cast their electoral votes. While Donald Trump won the most electoral college votes on November 8th, some of his most vocal opponents have been calling for electors to deny him the presidency. The New Hampshire State House is a beacon of democracy. Tomorrow, it will host one of the more obscure constitutional functions of our federal republic as presidential electors cast their votes and send them to Washington. But this normally low-profile event is different in 2016. As St. Anselm professor of politics Chris Galdieri says, electors are under tremendous scrutiny. Uh, there's been a lot of controversy this year, a lot of calls for um, electors to vote for someone other than Donald Trump. Hillary Clinton won New Hampshire's four electoral votes on November 8th. Her hand-picked electors are former executive counselor Dudley Dudley, former Senate President Bev Hollingworth, former House Speaker Terry Norelli, and Congresswoman Carol Shea Porter. None are expected to become what's known as a faithless elector, one who turns on their chosen candidate. The Constitution doesn't place any limits on who electors can vote for, and so campaigns are aware of that, and they try to correct for that by picking people who are party loyalists and who are going to vote for the party's candidate come hell or high water. According to Galdieri, there are ways the electors could keep the presidency from the president-elect, at least in part by giving electoral votes to another plausible Republican. But he says it's a lot of wishful thinking on the part of Donald Trump's opponents. If enough votes were cast for someone like John Kasich or Mitt Romney or some other third candidate to deprive Trump of 270 electoral votes, that the election would then go into the House and there'd be a chance for that third candidate to get chosen. Uh, I think the likelihood of that is very, very small. New Hampshire's electors were among those who made the formal request for an intelligence briefing on Russian interference in the presidential campaign and alleged ties between Russians and members of the Trump campaign. That request was denied, and a top local Trump supporter said local electors need to, quote, get a life.